Hello, I'm Applestick, and welcome back to The Waystone, Season 3, Episode 36. It's a very fine day in the Mesa, and you're probably wondering why I'm here, but I just wanted to say a huge thank you first to Captain Irony for becoming my first VIP member. And he used to be part of the dev and build team for Iskull, so I used to roll with big dogs. But I just wanted to say a huge thank you. And this whole episode is going to be dedicated to him and what he wants me to build. And it looks pretty cool, quite interesting. I'm excited to get into it. But first, we've got to stroll through the mesa and try to find some of these blocks, these terracotta blocks. Oh, that's fancy. And it's starting to get dug out down here. I don't know how much of this we've got left. I mean, a good layer or so until we get to the other side of the mountain, I guess. Let's kill a few of these mobs. So I have some torches on me. I believe I brought some, I did, thankfully. Let's go ahead and start placing some of these down. And I think I've got to actually use slime this time to represent Escolium, I believe. Because he's wanting me to do a large pizza slice with Escolium on the edge. And wow, this is a mob trap and a half. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it gets so dangerous down here so fast. Uh, I think I'm just going to try to survive. Oh. Oh, no, no. <laughs> one heart. Pretty much. One and a half. And Canelia gave me this carrot. I've got to keep this carrot because, well, it is something special. Because it gives Canelia special powers. And I want special powers like Canelia. So I'm going to be keeping it close. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, light this area up. Let's start collecting some of this terracotta and stop bantering on because that's what I'm pretty much doing at the moment. Yet again, we have a full inventory of terracotta. We should be good to go on resources from the Mesa. I had dug out on the other side of the mountain, but didn't think that there is like a whole segment over here that is close to the beacon. So it should be fine there for other people if they want to come over and mine a bit. But let's go over to the portal. Let's go over to spawn. Let's check everything out. Make sure we haven't made any profits. There is the portal, thankfully. I keep forgetting where it is every time I come here. Perhaps I should just hold the carrot and good things will happen. That's usually Canelia's case. Occasionally, I tend to skip the sand stand and I really need to stop doing that because last time we checked, there was a handful of diamonds in there. Nothing in there today. I need to restock that. I need to come over here to build monger shop and put in an order for the guardian farm so he can do that one single tile design and then we can repeat that process throughout the guardian farm so we can get some sweet aesthetics oh well, let's go over to the iron shop see if we've made any profits uh nothing's really going on in the post office box i had a couple of shulker boxes there from the easter event that i need to destroy and i think i had my egg somewhere it's in this yes the monster bunny egg if you didn't see the stream it was maybe a little bit less eventful or what we usually do nothing in there uh, i'm gonna have to dispose of something in my inventory to get this carrot. <sighs> my good luck charm on the freaking floor. Oh, this is going to work. <laughs> How do I do this? I'll tell you what, we'll take the carrot. We'll place it on the floor. We'll come back. Yeah, I've got to figure it out. There we are. Yeah, the Easter event wasn't very eventful, but it was, it was pretty fun. I mean, we had a good time searching things. A huge thank you to Canes for setting it all up. I brought him onto the waystone and he hit all the eggs. Uh, is this not working? Whoa, this is seriously broken, isn't it? What the heck? I need to not do that again. I don't know if I like this system. Oh, thankfully. I thought I was trapped in there forever. Later in the episode, Llama had said that he put something in my mailbox, so I've interjected this clip to check to see what it is. Cactus. A bunch of cactus. A huge amount of cactus. Like, that's just an insane amount. Oh, and these two shulker boxes I need to dispose of, along with all the Easter egg hunts. I probably should do that. I had to complete my evening ritual of having an intelligent conversation with Knuckles, but his mind seems to be set on one thing trying to find the Waystone Queen, and I have no clue where she is, but I have a feeling this carrot has something to do with it. You didn't see anything. Waystone's gotta keep its secrets too. I mean, it's, it's a rather dark place every once in a while. But yes, we're in the storage room. I was gonna see if we do have slime balls, because I was a bit worried I haven't been in here in ages. We, ooh. A whole... 
Oh my god. That's a lot of slime balls. It just keeps going up to this chest. So we have about eight double chests of slime ball. We should be good for the scullium. I'm just going to dump this inventory and get some of the blocks colored up. And we should be good to roll on this project. Just got to do some dyeing. I might have to do some dye hunting. Not looking forward to that. This is how I treat my cows. I just cram them in there and hope for the best. It is graphically glitching because there are so many cows in that one spot. That's crazy looking. <laughs> uh, I hate the singing of them as well. Ugh, gets my nerves. Disgusting cows. But yeah, I have claimed this area for Captain Irony's build. Originally, we were going to be doing a transportation system going over this, but had decided, well, it didn't look that great. You know, the concept because we'd be stretching out from the hive and it just didn't look good. I was going to be doing, you know, other segments, like we have the village breeder, we could still do it over there. And it probably wouldn't be that bad because it's not far off. Uh, but no, I've decided to cut that one off. So, Captain Irony's build's going to be going there. I'm going to pop it up on screen. Ooh, look at that. Captain Irony in all of his glory. And he also has the pizza with scullium on it. Now, this is going to be somewhat challenging. I do have all of the color palettes, I believe, all covered. Should be good. He has some non-vanilla color in that. So I'm just going to try my best and get to where it at least looks somewhat like it. Oh my god, where does this rotten flesh come from? So, clearing these trees, oh, that's kind of a beautiful area, but it'll be a great place to put a pizza with a scullium on it. So, let's clear this out, get this time lapse going, so I want to get this done, and I want to see the results of it. Well, mamma mia, that got me into the Italian spirit. Like, seriously. <laughs> I was jamming to Italian music while building this. And, you know, you couldn't tell from the time lapse. Kevin McElroyd is one talented artist. And it has come out looking pretty cool. I was expecting it not to transition so well to vanilla. But really, this, this came out looking pretty good. Captain Irony's version has non-vanilla blocks in it, so you're going to see much more of a fade in it as far as lighting and how that goes. But yes, I am proud of the results. I got that mosaic look to it, you know, like that mosaic harsh fade, I guess you could say. Very spiffy. I even put a sign here saying this is Captain Irony's build, a VIP on Waffle's Patreon server. So this was... Suggested by him, and everyone will know. But, I, uh, there's so much escolium. It's so green. Like, seriously, so- Okay, I will stop zooming in on things. It's been a habit this episode. And Captain Irony, feel free to comment down below and roast me on how I made your build look like a trash can. Speaking of trash cans... No, I'm just joking. <laughs> this lag is killing my clips. This episode has been just a full episode of banter. I am crawling into the cathedral right now. Llama Freak has no clue that I just called him a trash can. I'm just joking, Llama. When you watch this video. All right, so we're going to crawl around and look at this build. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, in all seriousness, Llama is amazing. I mean, look at these columns. That's an insane amount of detail along with the ceiling about in place. Now, what I'm really excited to see from the cathedral build is these towers being completely filled in. I think that's going to really make it pop because when you're flying above it, you can notice the 2Dness of it. And when you have all that full 3D effect to it, that's what's going to really make it stand out. But really, on the outside, 
It's already there. I wish I had the amount of talent that Llama has. I mean, I said it in my stream. If you're not familiar with some of his builds, uh, I think his other area is off limits. He was working on that dock that I had shown, but he's going to be doing some incredible stuff over there and I'm not allowed to show it off. But for the stream, if you did miss the stream we had done last time on Sunday, we worked on the bridge more and we split it off toward the jungle. I am one bar right now and I have a feeling I'm going to get kicked out of the server once again, but everything's loading just fine. So let's keep it rolling. Cross our fingers. Look at this. Oh, it's nice little turnoff right here that goes into the jungle, which I think is going to go into Llama's area. But then Buildmonger brought this in, this little stoplight. That is such innovation. Oh, God. I, I don't know what we're going to really do for tomorrow. But uh, I think we're going to take a break from this. Very awesome building by the Waystone team. Good job, guys. Since we do have a few minutes left in the episode, I wanted to go over to the marina and work on a patio out back. Because that episode, I said I was going to build something that way on the lower half of the hill but just never got around to it. And I'm at the Guardian Farm gathering the necessary material to build this because I want to use a Prismarine and perhaps Dark Oak or Spruce. But this is slowly filling up. We have a double chest. I believe Naragath came over in AFK to bed. I was wanting to do some myself just to fill in the chests I do use. So I have a feeling we're going to be taking this whole chest because I need some sea lanterns too. We need some lighting on the patio. So let's see how much we get. At least in this chest, I want to get it halfway full before I start taking stuff out of that. The number one reason I die on the waystone is due to kinetic energy. I need to start walking places more. I just knew those chicken feathers were going to come in handy at some point. I used to have an AFK chicken farm in the early season. And I just crafted all those fireworks for Llama Freak. So those should be good to go. It should be enough variation. But here is the marina. And look at that beautiful terrain to work with. Perfect for a patio. Oh, I'm proud. <laughs> that actually looks really good up there. Uh, I was wanting to change the roof up a bit. You know, I started looking at it. And it really doesn't need it. I mean, sure, the logs are somewhat imbalanced and that looks kind of crappy. But if we fix that, the roof looks fine. Buildmonger thought so too. Llama Freak said that I should probably fix it. I don't know, maybe at some point, maybe never. But the patio is a must. I had said that the episode I created this. So should we come around? Because if we go through the glass, it's going to ruin the aesthetic of the view. Let's go ahead and break this. We won't need it. Too bad I don't get shears on me. Hmm. We could easily craft like a little walkway going back here. Compared to having to do the inside and breaking through. Yeah, that's going to ruin a beautiful view if I do a doorway right here. It's the perfect window. And we could do the patio a little bit lower so we're not obstructing the view. Okay, we've got it all planned out. Let's do it. With some fancifying, this place will be complete. I chose Iron Fence because it seems to go well with the blocks. The Prismarine doesn't conflict too much. goes well with the Cobblestone. And we all know how great and spruce wood goes together. Season 1 lessons. It was great. Now... The rest of the patio, I think I just want to leave. Ooh, I like the way that looks. Because we would have to add a block for every corner to make this match well. Like this didn't have a corner block. I just placed it there to make this more cohesive. So let's fly above. Let's see what this looks like from the me tower. Because I haven't stepped back and took a look from a distance. Oh, that's nice. Looks very modern-esque and sort of reminds you of the design of the Mi Tower right here. <laughs> It'll work. And I'll transition the sea lanterns and the carpets just like inside. Now I think I use birch wood on the inside. Yeah. And then I use stone too. Oh, that'll work. Spruce still looks good. I wish I had some type of border, but it's just not going to work unless I use slabs. I've got some quartz. How would quartz look up here like this? Ooh, I'm missing one quartz. Seriously? Ooh, I don't know. After the fence? Maybe, maybe not? Because I've got a underlayer of quartz. 
Yeah, I don't like that very much. Let's just leave the top without a border and we'll keep it as it is. Very nicely done. Small, fun project and made the marina look much better from the backside. A big thanks to Guinea Pig Gamer for introducing me to Quartz Accenting. When it comes to Prismarine, she had done something similar to her build, so I sort of tried it on mine and it worked. So thank you, Guinea Pig. A link to her Twitch will be in the description and you need to shut up. You need to shut up. Why are you out here alone? Do people leave you out here to get ran over by a car? How cruel of the world. You look disgust. You look sick. You're really sick right now. But I think that's going to be about it for this episode, guys. Hope you enjoy watching. We'll see you next episode and hope you have a fantastic day.